Hello rainbows and welcome back to my channel. So as most of you may already know, I now have longer hair. Yeah. <laughs> I actually have some tape hair extensions in by the amazing Irresistible Me. You guys know that I've been using their clip-in extensions for years, like literally years. And now they have come out with a tape extension range. And as you guys know, I love tape extensions. So I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get my hands on these. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys exactly how you can apply tape hair extensions at home. If you want to save a bit of money and you've got a friend who's willing to give you a hand this is the tutorial for you I'm not only going to show you how to tape them in but I'm also going to give you guys like a kind of head map of the placement of the tapes to give you guys the best finished result okay rainbows so here you have my current hair before applying the tape extensions so if you guys don't know what tape extensions are they are a semi-permanent form of hair extensions. So Irresistible Me have a full range of beautiful different colors, they have extra tapes available, and they have a removal oil spray as well. So like all the hair extensions on the Irresistible Me site, they are 100% human hair, absolutely incredible quality they feel very very soft and silky and just amazing I am going to be doing a full review of these soon so make sure you guys stay tuned as well I do have a discount code for all of the products on the irresistible me site not just their extensions but also their styling tools and all that jazz I will link directly to it in the description box below so head down there and check it out so for those of you that don't know what tape hair extensions are as I said they are a form of semi-permanent hair extensions. They are personally my favorite because they're very fast and easy to apply and they leave zero damage on your hair. So basically when you order from Irresistible Me your extensions will come in a pack like this. Now in each of these packs you get 20 pieces of extension which are enough to create 10 sandwiches or bonds. You also get one single extension in a separate pack so you can test to see if it's the right color before you break the seals on the rest of the extensions. Now Irresistible Me recommend between two to four packs of these extensions. Each pack, as I said, has 20 pieces, they're 20 inches in length and they weigh 50 grams. So it really depends on what kind of finished result you're after, if you're after volume, if you're after length or if you want volume and length added to your hair. So the tape extensions themselves look like this. So this is just one piece. So you will need two pieces to create the sandwich. It has like double-sided tape on one side. So all you need to do is peel off the tape, apply it to your hair, and then you're pretty much good to go. So the great thing about these extensions are they are 100% invisible. They look very, very seamless in the hair and they feel so, so amazingly comfortable. All right, so we'll go over how to apply these into your hair and then we'll go more into the mapping out and the correct sectioning. So basically what you wanna do is work with very, very clean sections. The amount of hair that you grab, you want it to be basically the same width and the same thickness as the extension that you're placing in. So basically place the extension in underneath the section of hair that you grab. If you wanna keep the maintenance down on them, try and get it as close to your natural root as possible. Press down on the hair that you've layered on top. So now what you want to do is grab another piece of extension and basically sandwich this directly on top of the extension that you've already placed in. Now if you want to do multiple colors in your hair, if you want to kind of switch it up a little bit, this is a great time to add a different color extension to really break it up. But I am using just the one shade all throughout my hair today, which is the Jet Black shade. So you will definitely need someone to help you to to apply these extensions. Obviously you can't see the back of your head so you definitely need some help. You can apply them to the front sections yourself. Uh, it is a little bit difficult but if you're stuck you can do it but as I said it is always best for the best results to get someone to help you. What I also like to do, this is optional, but I like to grab a straightening iron or some type of heat tool and basically sandwich that for a very brief second on top of the tape just to help it infuse and make it kind of stick in there a little bit better. That's just personally what I like to do. All right, so to show you the placement, I thought this would be the easiest way. So I have this lovely bald headed model here to help me out. So basically what you wanna do is map out where the existing hairline is. So the black line is the existing hairline. So you wanna leave a, a good inch or so 
around the hairline that you're going to leave free of extension so that way when you tie your hair up you can't see any of the tapes poking through. The white line is basically representing where you want to start your extensions from. So now the fun begins. The pink lines are representing hair extensions. So on this first row you can put about two hair extensions. Of course this is going to vary for everyone depending on your head shape and everything like that. So before you move on to the next row you want to leave one row of hair free before you start the next row. So basically section out just a thin section, maybe a centimeter if that, leave that free and then start your next row on top. So the next row as I've done here I've included three pieces. So basically what you want to do is brick Play it so you will never have like a distinctive row of gaps in your hair. Always brick lay the extensions on top of the previous row of extensions to really get a seamless result. When you're doing the back of the head basically you work up to about the crown, uh, leave the side sections completely free and you do the sides separately. So I basically section from the crown to the top of the ear, put the front sections out of the way, do the back section first and start from the bottom work my way up and then do the sides at the end. All right, so for the side view, again, I've got a beautiful bald model helping me out today. So basically you map out where the existing hairline is. Again, you leave a section free all around the perimeter of that hairline. So what I like to do with the side sections is place the extensions in on a 45 degree angle. Of course, you can place them in horizontally if you prefer. I feel with a 45 degree angle, it lets you get the most out of the extensions. It lets it kind of flow forwards, especially when you do tie your hair up as well. It's a lot more comfortable and they seem to sit a lot flatter against your head as well. So this is basically the design that I like to do. Of course, depending where you part your, your hair naturally, you should always leave like a good perimeter around your natural hair parting free of extensions as well. Of course, once you have your tapes installed, it's a great idea to cut them in and layer them in with your existing layers in your hair just to make them look a lot more seamless and a lot more natural. It is always a good idea as well just to let them kind of sit in. So try not to wash your hair for at least 48 hours. When you have new extensions, just let them kind of sit in that little bit and just lock into place before you get any type of water on them. Okay, rainbows, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and yeah, if you guys do end up getting some irresistible made tape extensions, then let me know your thoughts. Let me know how this tutorial helped you with applying them because I'd, I'd love some feedback. All right, guys, I love you all and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.